Hello, hello. All right. Today we are talking about um, a technique that I love that I created um, and I'm going to share it with you. Um, it's part of a, a seven day hope challenge um, that I have done with uh, a few of the clients that I have had. Um, but essentially this is the see it, say it, slay it technique. So a lot of folks have heard of affirmations and the power that positive words have. Um, it sounds like a lot of psychological kind of fluffy talk, but I assure you it is quite accurate. So in the Bible, it even talks about the power of life and death being in the tongue, the things that we say right out of our mouths, holding quite a little, a lot of power, um, to either create or destroy. And so today I want to talk with you some about being mindful of what we say, um, while we are stuck in the valleys of life. So when we're in a pit and we're in a valley and we're going through, we can talk real reckless, y'all. Like we can say some terrible things. That's never going to happen. God's not listening to me. Um, I'm a good person. You know, there's no point of this anymore. Um, you know, the world is horrible. Everyone in it is horrible. And, and just, we can just really, we can go there, right? Anybody who's read the book of Job knows he took about 30 chapters going there, right? Because it was, it was a valley. Um, and so one of the ways that we can watch the things that are saying out of our mouths is um, the idea of using scriptures as affirmations. So when we are so frustrated and so torn up, we don't have any good things to come out of our mouths ourselves because we're in such a pit. Um, we can actually lean on uh, the constant ever-present truth uh, that is in the word of God to help us to speak life over ourselves and our situations instead of death. Um, and so... I, when, uh, when I'm in a rough place, I, uh, struggle with like, okay, so you just want me to say something and everything's going to be better. Um, yes and no. So when we say things, we actually start to, um, speak them into existence, right? We start to shift our mindset, what's happening in our head, which impacts our hearts, what we feel, and that impacts what we do. So if I say something out of my mouth, like there's no point, everyone in the world sucks, right? Okay then I'm going to start to believe that thing, right? And then I'm gonna feel something like um, angry or disconnected from people. And then I'm going to do something like isolate myself, right? So how can I come across the people who don't suck? So it really creates a whole ripple effect in our lives. And so I wanna to talk today about scriptures and using them as affirmations. So regardless of what you're going through, death, despair, grief, agony, sickness, um, a broken heart, anything, you can find a scripture in the Bible that talks about that um, and to help you move through that, that talks about building up your faith or staying the course or the fact that even when everything looks raggedy and tore up, God is still there. Um, so first things first, you want to grab a scripture um, and you want to think about what is my need today, right? So what do I need? What's my need? Um, so for someone who's in a, a pit, maybe a need is strength. Right? Maybe you're just on at the end of your rope and you're like, bump this, I'm tired and everything sucks. And you kind of get to that place where you're just saying all sorts of reckless stuff out of your mouth, right? So what you might need today might be strength. So you want to find a scripture that speaks to strength um, and to stay in the course and to knowing that God is with you even when it's trying. And then you want to write that scripture somewhere. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to actually see that scripture. You're going to see it. So write that scripture down. Um, I always encourage using a uh, dry erase marker, write it on your bathroom mirror, write it on your mirror in your bedroom, write it on your refrigerator if it'll wipe off pretty easily off that type of surface, but write it somewhere where you can see it constantly. You want to see it. You don't want to put it in a notebook, close a notebook and put it in your drawer. So once you've got it somewhere you can see it, you want to take the time to say it out loud and you want to say it out loud every time you see it. Right, so don't just kind of see it and say, oh, the Lord is my strength uh, one time and kind of like, you know, <laughs> really get it in your spirit. Really say it every time you see it. And if it's on your bathroom mirror or somewhere like that, you're going to see it a lot. And that's the point of putting it there. So see it, say it, and then slay it. That's the last step. That is the piece that most people forget about. So slaying it means you want to actually live as if that scripture is true. So if I say that the Lord is my strength, then that means when I am feeling alone and I'm running around, kind of doing everything on my own, um, maybe overworking for a sense of control, um, maybe um, buying a hoarding, like buying a ton of groceries, but you know, stashing away a ton of money, doing everything I can in my own strength to feel like, okay, I'm okay and I've got this under control. 
If I want to live this scripture like it's true, then that would mean in those moments when I feel that way, that I actually take a step back and I say, you know what, Lord, you're my strength. You've got me covered. I am not going to run around busying myself doing everything under the sun that I can do. I'm actually going to rest in you. I'm going to pray. I'm going to grab a snack. I'm going to lay down. I'm going to go to sleep, whatever the case may be. But I'm going to actually live as if that scripture is true. So I'm going to see it. I'm going to say it. And then I'm going to slay it. Okay. See it, say it, slay it. And then the last thing that we're going to do is stick with it. Okay. So you want to think about how you can actually make this change in your life consistent. Whatever it is that you did um, to start to act and behave in a different way, how can you make sure that you continue to do that for days to come, years to come, whatever the case may be, so that you actually start to see this scripture transform your life. So in those dark moments, grab a scripture, use it as an affirmation, write it somewhere so you see it, all right? Say it out loud every time you see it so it really gets in your heart and you speak it out into existence over yourself. Slay it, meaning live as if that scripture is true. Don't just say it and then say, okay, I said something, whatever. Live it as if it's true and stick with it. How can you let that scripture change your life for days, for weeks, for months and years to come um, and really start to see your life change and move towards the direction that you want it to go. So as always, you've got this because God's got you. I'm Dr. D. I love helping folks. I love uh, loving on folks. So take a look around my website. Take a look around um, my pages. Stay connected with me, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Um, my website has a lot of resources and tips for you to use. I can't wait to work with you and I hope you have a great day.